attendances will hopefully be out for the games. And a lot of people are in Lillehammer expecting a fantastic Olympic. The Czech coach, Ivan Linka, 43 years of age, third year with the national team, played a long time on the national side, 260 some caps. And here's the new man for the Finns, Kurt Lindstrom, 53 years old. Married with a couple of daughters, and he actually owns a betting shop. I wonder who, whose uh, team he'll be betting for in this competition. I know a couple of guys who are probably watching this game in England who are probably well aware of his betting shop management. Anyways, these two teams have played each other twice prior to the Olympics. In November of 93, the Finns beat the Czechs 1-0. And in Moscow on the 17th of December, the Finns and the Czechs tied 3-3. Speaking of guys in England watching this game, we know that up in Durham, where the Wasps play their home games, Gary Uremchuk and Chris Norton are worried about when they're going to get to sleep. They're so excited about seeing so many hockey games of this quality on television that they're afraid they're going to miss some of their games up there. Hey, if you're worried about when you're going to sleep, when are we going to sleep? Well, this one is underway, and the Finns, playing from right to left, have started with Jarmo Mulisch. And no surprises for the Czechs with their goalie, Petra Brise, 29-year-old. And this guy is one of the greats, and a lot of people have been asking questions as to why he's not in the NHL. A start for Hamelainen, a long pass up on the wing, rink-wide pass goes to the near side and that drifts all the way down onto Kadlec's stick. He slams on the brake and Topat takes up position on the far side. Pumped all the way into the corner. Going back for it in a hurry is Alitalo. He's taken out of the play. Kapanen is out there. Alitalo bats it down and the Finns now break towards the blue push shot. Wide of the targets and the Finns showing that they mean business early on. Tapped in. Everyone comes out of the zone. Brise gets a touch. That'll make him happy. And the Czechs showing that they can do without the one or two players who moved on to the Slovakian side. Break now. Coming up quickly. Number 22, Hasat. Jump that in. Hamelainen is calling for it. That's shot in behind the goal. And it's dumped out of the zone as both teams look for a quick change. Vikuko taps it over to the center of the uh, defensive zone. Vikuko gets a return pass, a long one. Trying to thread the eye of the needle is intercepted nicely by Koivu. This is a man to watch. Five foot nine. He really has a lot of talent, a lot of speed. Enough for the Montreal Canadiens to pick him up for the first draft choice. Drop pass to him was a good one. Herbeck. Tried to flip that in. Laukinen intercepts and gets it over to the far corner. Good start as Koivu picks it up and then loses control. Drifted back in by Horak. Laukinen again. Taps it forward. Herbeck does the foreshadowing. And the Finns go back to regroup as they complete their line change. Laukinen on the left, left wing, rather. Flips it in and Brisa gets another touch. Very quickly, we saw Koivu establish himself. An excellent drop pass from him. The crowd giving an ooh. It was a pass that the average player just isn't going to make. You can see why the Montreal Canadiens are high on this guy with the style of play that they have. Tupal flips that in behind the net. Number 14 going for it was Horak. He couldn't get the lumber on it. Breaking down now is Oyanin. Oyanin squeezed out of the play nicely by Kadlec. Kadlec has been around, seen it, done it. And this guy, Kadlich, certainly has a great shot from back of the blue if he gets the chance to use it. Flipped right through, that misses everyone, goes into the corner. And again, both teams to look to get fresh legs out there. Kadlich tips that over to the far side. Kapusta can't handle it. The Finns now with Palo. Palo backhands it back to the blue. The shot deflected off a skate. And a chance now for the Czechs as that comes up. Shot coming in from Tupal. Never made it to Müller. Palo slows it down, hits the blue, waits for a little support. Hamelainen drifted that one in. And Brisa makes the save and will have a face-off deep in Czech territory. Both teams off to a quick start. They've played a lot of games prior to the competition. 
They know what it's all about, and they've come in here well prepared. Nobody's holding back. Both sides finishing off their checks, moving the puck quickly, and making advancements on the opposing goaltender. A lot of people out there, Richard, might not be aware how much preparation goes into this tournament. Figure skaters start skating in the summer. Skiers go from the summer. These guys start playing an 80-game schedule, at least the Canadians and the Americans do, way back in August. And the Canadian and the American teams drift all over the world, from Alaska to Japan, to get into shape for this two-week tournament. Helmanen hammered into the plexi as that floats along onto... He Kukul's pass, and it's a two-liner picked up there by Kuchera. Kuchera is one of my favorites. Once he gets the legs moving, the 27-year-old who plays his hockey in Finland really can motor. Both coaches watching the lines. They're not balancing lines at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if they do later. A couple of very skillful individuals on each side. They may play a defensive player out when the likes of Koivu are on the ice. We'll wait and see right now. They're just going line for line. Keskinen got the draw, picks it up on the boards, and that's flipped over to the far side. Verta backhanded it in. Brisa is there to slow it down. And it's been a good start for the Finns as we approach the four-minute mark of the first period. No score here. This one is live on Eurosport. Day one of the action. Coming in quickly there, Makala taken out of the play. Offside is the call as Alatalo picked it up and went for a skate. One or two words between the players, but nothing too serious. This one hasn't been that physical, but it is only day one, game one. Good point for the kids once again as Alatola pushed the puck back over the blue line. Niemannen had been held in by a Czech defender. Just a smart play, forcing the Finns to be offsides. Peltonen took a swipe at that, and that went the other way. Koivu couldn't get a handle on it. Mulesh running interference there, and that's flipped all the way back to the blue. Kept in nicely by the Czechs, skating hard after to Sersen, but he can't get to it. Podak trying to get a stick on it, and the Finns break quickly down the right side. Excellent defensive move by Kastak. Stromberg, the Finn with the Swedish sounding name, went in hard on that one. Coming up quickly is number 20, Lettinen. Lettinen can't get his arm free. Lettinen to the hash marks now, trying to poke it back into Peltonen. Peltonen and Lettinen. Peltonen can't get a stick on it, and that's cleared away by Tupal. One or two bits of clutching and grabbing out there. And here comes the indication from the official for holding. The Finns with a good forechecking style, ending up with three men in deep by the time the play broke away, creating a lot of pressure on the defense for the Czechs. The American referee went directly to the penalty box as soon as the Czechs had touched the puck. Holding is the call. Stavjana in the box, the first power play opportunity this game will go to Finland. The draw comes back to the blue. The shot scores! Brisa possibly unsighted. A couple of seconds gone on the power play. And the Finns draw first blood. Uchula celebrates. First power play, first goal, right off the draw. The puck going back to Utila quickly. I'd have to agree, Paul Breeze down on his knees. I'm not sure as though he had full sight of the puck. It doesn't matter. It's in the back of the net. The Finns have the lead, whether it's through a deflection or what have you. Breeze unable to make the save. So the first goal of the competition goes to Finland. And we get set for the face-off now. A great start on the power play. And it didn't take you to look long to put that past Petra Brise. Perhaps a slight deflection. And nevertheless, it's in the back of the net. Hooked over to the far side. Verta. Verta. Taps it in in the corner, and that's squeezed away by Horova. 
All the way back to the blue line. And again, the Finns apply the pressure. Riza way out of the target as that deflects into the corner. Coming up quickly now is Alatalo. Alatalo squeezed out of the play by Horova. Niemannen trying to pump it in. Keskinen tries to get it to the side of the net. Riza slamming the door on the pipe. Alatalo squeezed out of the play. Keskinen at the top of the circle eventually backhands it in. And Alatalo again. This guy is working hard. Coming over now for Horova. Horova dumps it up to Tupal. Tupal hits the blue line, flips it forward. Tupal picks it up again and just squeezes that into the corner. The intended re receiver was Horak. Tupal again working with Horak. Horak trying to get away from Verta. That didn't happen. Horak again. Verta stays on him and then eventually goes into the circle. And number nine, Keskinen moves up to help out. The Finns getting back in numbers. One, two, three, four. White jerseys on the far side of the rink. 6.23 gone on the period. 1-0 the score. This is live. The first game of the competition. Hamalainen gets rid of that. And Hamalainen will have to backtrack. Flips it over to the near side. And the Finns now are hemmed in their own zone. Koivu. Tip forward. The intended receiver there was Vadish, and that didn't work. It's still kept in, and the Finns doing a great job of keeping the puck in the Czech zone. Offensively, the Finns are putting a lot of pressure on the Czechs. Strength. Let's talk about the physical strength. They're really muscling the Czechs in their own end. All five Czechs are being forced to stay low, leaving the finish points wide open. They're getting the shots off from the blue line. Janetski there came in hard on Hamalainen. The backhander comes out front. Kastak delivered the pass. There was no one there with a red uniform on to pick it up. Utila couldn't keep it in. Coming in quickly now. The checks. The backhander comes in. Mulish made the save. And Oyanin is there to collect. Oyanin starts down the right side. Flipped it up the middle. This is good stuff from Finland. Coming in. Oh, that was a pretty goal. Oyanin. Good stuff from Finland. That's number two. Watch the pass work. Excellent heads up hockey by the Finns. One pass, two, there's a third one. Open net, great goal. The Finns with a two goal lead. Oyan and all he had to do was get his stick on it. Everybody is taken out of the play, an excellent pass. Seven thirty-four gone in the first period. The Finns on top by two goals already. The Finns really showing the world that they can throw that puck around. Something down on the ice in the corner. Munich pointing it out to the officials. Let's take a look at the action again. Great pass work. Paolo moving the puck over to 28. Veris heads up hockey. Breeze has committed himself. He's out of the goal. There's the pass and a lovely touch from Oyanin. The Czechs were chasing and just couldn't get back in time. The officials getting in that corner to patch things up. Difficult to see from this camera angle, but there's probably a gouge in the corner and they'll put a little snow on it pack it down put some water on it and hope it freezes in a matter of seconds you really have to be a jack of all trades when you're when you put on a striped jersey out there you have to officiate a hockey game you have to break up fights as and when they break out and you have to do this kind of thing I hope that's something that's going to be solved because this early in the competition just a little ways away from the putt boards like that you hate to see holes in the ice that's where players get hurt a lot of play happens in those corners skates get running parallel along with the boards to trap the puck and the last thing you want is a blade caught in there we're ready for the face off now as Ivan Alinka was looking on looking rather concerned but it's early days yet 
the Kukul tap that to the far side and the Finns just dump it in as Vakukul gets it again. Brings it up on the right hand side, decides to double back. Zemlichka follows him in, breaks up on the left side. Zemlichka looks for the pass and gets it from her back. Zemlichka, uh, an extremely colorful hockey player, has nowhere to go out there. Some good shadow from Kapanen. The interception there. Helmanen brings it in. Helmanen flips it into the corner. Kapanen tried to pick it up and he was squeezed out of the play. Zemlichka taps it forward, looks for the return pass, and that didn't happen. And the Finns are beating the checks to the puck, and that's thrown over to the far side. Coming in quickly now is Makala. Makala squeezed out along the board. Zemlichka. The Kuko. Still with the big check defenseman. A terrible pass from him. Helmanen gathers that. Helmanen waiting for the return pass. It didn't come. Some grabbing and clutching again as Tupal picked it up. Familiar sign, familiar situation. Once again, a holding call. The Czechs in a lot of trouble. If the Finns can keep their discipline and maintain the system they're playing now, the Czechs are going to be in for a long night. Even when they do clear their own zone, the neutral territory is just being taken right away from them. They are finding no openings whatsoever. Zemlichka going to the penalty box for holding, put the grab on his man. The Finns go right back onto the power play. Zemlichka thought it was harmless enough. 8.43 the time of the penalty. Face off just outside the top of the circle in the Czech zone. Keskinen, Utila, Utila squeezed along the boards. The chop from Stabiana gets it out of the zone and sends it deep into Finnish territory. Stromberg back deep. It took them just a couple of seconds to score on the first power play. Keskinen tipped it up onto the wing. Alatalo couldn't get a stick on that, and that comes over to the near side. Stromberg throws it across to Utila. And he'll have to backtrack. Utila dumps it over. The pass up now for Alatalo. Alatalo breaking hard against Serban. Serban gets the stick up high. Serson flips that down the ice, and the Finns will have to go back, regroup with Utila picking it up. Important penalty killing situation. The Czechs need to get this last minute and two seconds out of their system and get back onto offensive track here and find a goal for themselves. They need it. Koivu working hard in the corner. Koivu has a little support from Kapanen. That comes all the way back to number two, Kiprasov. The pass in now, Koivu. Koivu working out there with Varus. This line could be trouble for the Czechs. Koivu stick handling in the corner. No one wants to get him. Why should they? They're killing off this penalty. Clipped into Koivu. Koivu looking for places to go. Perhaps the wraparound. Out front is Niemann. The pass didn't come his way. And Dolezal takes it the distance. Dolezal throws it back out of the zone. Janecki tees it up. The long shot. And Mulesh is saying, get out of my way. I can't see it. Lettinen. 15 seconds on the power play. And the Finns keep it over the line. Verta takes it in as far as the red line. Lettinen is there to bang it off the boards and put it behind the net. And the Czechs will take this for a skate. Czechs back at full strength. Coming down quickly on the wing is Hostak. Hostak gets it out front and that's cleared away nicely. Koivu way back behind the line picks it up. Verta decides to go back over the blue. A change of personnel for the Finns as Laukinen hits the red line, tries to get it in the zone, and that doesn't work. Kastak. Milish hangs onto it. And that's the closest thing he's seen to a real shot. Kastak and Hostak putting a couple of passes together. The Czech successfully killing the penalty off. There's plenty of time to play in this one, but you get the feeling that they're just not on stride right now. The Finns are taking the play to them. The Czechs need to get something going offensively. Getting set for the faceoff as Janetski gets that all the way back to the blue. It's tipped in. 
was in behind the net. Some good stuff there from Stromberg. Stromberg, a tough character, throwing his weight around out there. Varus tries to get a handle on it, and checks move in nicely. Defensive move coming from Oyanin. Oyanin flips it up onto the right wing. Paolo. Paolo shaking off a couple of checks. Zemlinska back out there, grabbing and holding on to his man, Keskinen. And the Czechs are getting back in threes and fours. But the Finns seem to be doubling up on them and keeping the puck into the zone. Now it's out. It's a long pass out by Bedrick Surmat. Intercepted. Hamalainen takes it up. Hamalainen with a tip. That should be an offside play unless they clear the zone. Surmat flips it to the far side. Here come the Czech Republic. They're trailing by two goals. Laukinen lets that trickle back onto the D. And... Hamalainen moves it up quickly on the left side. They hit the red, flip it in. Brise leaves that for Vopat. Vopat hammers it off the boards up on the wing, and the Czechs get it out of the zone, but Utila picks it up. Utila, Kapanen, Kapanen over the blue, trying to shake off a check. Oh, again, this is pretty stuff from the Finns. And number 14, Helmanen moving in on the left side. Again, Helmanen with the puck. Makala, Kapanen and Helmanen out there dancing around that goal. Makala to the far side. Excellent passing work. Makala now trying to get it out front. That hits the cage and the Czechs looking very disorganized as they pick it up. Coming back now, Tupal. Tupal starts the motor, drops it back. The shot comes in from number 14, Horak. And that hit a defenseman and eventually pushed away by Berta. Again, a change of personnel. Laukinen drops it back. Helmanen to Laukinen. Laukinen is dumped behind the goal. And we have another whistle on the play and the reaction from the Czech coach is not a pleasant one. I'll say it again, Paul. The Finnish forwards physically are very strong. They hold the puck well. Paolo on his last shift. The Czechs just couldn't seem to get him off the puck. This last line for the Finns, it was just on the ice. Laukinen, Kapanen, and Makala all over the puck, and the Czechs are struggling to get him off it. Consequently, they're pushing themselves into desperate situations where they're taking holding penalties, they're grasping at people. Now a boarding call, and the Finns are back on the power play. The Czechs certainly are taking some time to settle into this one. It's not like they haven't played together before. All the way back, the shot comes in. Deflected back to the blue line. Utila tries to keep it in. That deflected away. And I was saying it's not like they haven't played together before, Richard. We've seen guys like Kadlec, Serban, Staviana, Horova, Kasek, Zemicha, familiar names. Janetski, Kuchera, Hostak, Dolezal, Tupol. Almost a, a repetition of last year's world championship team. Official's not happy with that face-off, so we'll do it again. You're mentioning names that have been around. It is interesting, and this is what a lot of people are talking about, that a few key names are gone. Possibly just the ingredients that they needed with Slovakia having their own club in the competition now. It is going to weaken the two sides overall. The Slovaks qualified after that pre-Olympic competition in Sheffield in August. They beat out the Poles, the Japs, the British... The Latvians. Big shot from Janecki. Upstairs and wide of the target as the Finns settle down into this power play situation. Alatalo bumped off the plate. Coming up quickly is Keskinen. Keskinen flips it to an open wing. Going in in a hurry was Peltinen. One or two legs disappearing out there as... Pelton and tried to get it out front. That goes the distance as Stromberg goes back. Mulish gets another touch. But uh, I think it's fair to say that Mulish hasn't really been tested in this one. He hasn't had much action. I'm sure he was prepared for more. And I think once the Czechs find their stride, they're going to offer him more. Thrown in there quickly by Verta. Laukinen let it ride. Laukinen picks it up. And the Finns setting it up nicely, trying to get that in front. And Stabiana got the skate to it and found an opening and sent it the distance. 
25 seconds remaining on the power play. Makala lobs that to the far side. The intended receiver was Helmanen. And the Finns again throw the puck around, looking for the quality shot on goal. Shot away there by Berta. Berta back of the blue. A one-timer doesn't work from the edge of the circle. Oyanin trying to get a piece of it, still in finished possession as that's pumped over to the far side. And the Czechs now back at full strength. Makala has got Oyanin in front. Oyanin moves to the edge of the circle. The shot right in front. Makala knocking on the door as Breza goes down to smother it. A long shift for Miko Makala. He's been on there the entire length of the power play. The check successfully kill it off, and Makala goes to the bench for a well-deserved rest. It's hard to believe that the Finns have only been able to gather one silver in Olympic competition. They certainly have had the personnel, but when it comes to the big games, they've been unable, unable to put it together. Perhaps their new coach, Kurt Lindstrom, can do something about it. Penti Matakainen has now disappeared from behind the bench. He was perhaps the best dressed man in the competition. Always had that great tan that you and I envied. But was he doing the job? Well, he seemed to be a pretty successful coach, but the one point that always struck me is that every time he'd appear on the show with a new tie on, you'd go out and buy the same one, Paul. I've never won a medal either. <laughs> Face off after that high stick deep in finished territory. Hamalainen gets out of trouble, tips it up to Koivu, who gives it a one-timer coming in as Peltonen, looking for the return pass, and Lettinen unable to drag it down. Tupal got it up, flipped away there by Lettinen. And it really does see the, or seem that the Finns are getting to the puck a lot faster than the Czechs. Tupal now with a chance to move. He's beaten to it with 16-17 gone. 2-0 is the score. The Finns hanging on to this two-goal lead. Here in the first period, Janetski starts things up on the left side. This guy can motor. Janetski hitting the red, coming up to the blue. Janetski hits the blue and the offside whistle blows. It's nice to see Janetski playing in a normal number. Obviously the Czech Republic has said you are wearing 20 and that's it, end of story. And the Spangler Cup, he was wearing 91.1. A lot of people questioning whether he was possibly sponsored by a local radio station or something. Anyways, he was one of the hits of the uh, tournament with that kind of a number on his back. It was almost as funny as Domoyako for the Russians coming out wearing 135. I have trouble with one and two digits. Three would confuse me. Put a decimal point in there and I'm lost. Pass up the middle. Paolo brought down. Coming up quickly now. Kuchera. Kuchera feeds it up on the wing. Janetski. Janetski with a chance to shoot. Looking for a serve. The shot comes in. And Mulesh got a piece of that. Servan was racing up quickly. Golazal in the corner. Taps it along the boards. And the Czechs keep it in. Flipped over to the wrong side by Kuchera. Utila has time to gather it and get it out of the zone. Varis trying to backhand that forward. That didn't work. Big shot. Kastak really got a piece of it, but again, Mulesh looking sharp out there. A nice move by Kadlec. Kadlec gets it out front. They score! Kastak moved into the slot. Mulesh possibly screened on the play. Finally, the Finns break down. They had the opportunity earlier to clear the zone. Udala elected to make a long pass all the way to center. The Czechs were in the middle of a line change. There wasn't anybody on this side, their side of the center red line. They were able to collect the puck, put it back into the fin zone, and end up getting a goal for themselves out of it. Milas trying to get a piece of it. Kastak with all kinds of time, lets it rip, and he's got the first goal for the Czech Republic. First time you get to see that camera angle inside the net. So we have one or two surprises 
As far as camera angles and camera positioning is concerned out there, and that's one of them, the camera deep inside the net to get a, a goaltender's view of how that puck comes at you at up to 100 miles an hour. And we know that Al Iafredi in the All-Star warm-up got 102.7 miles an hour to record the hardest shot in the NHL. Last year, he did it at 105, but uh, that's still steaming at over 100 miles an hour. Kikuko, long pass up on the wing. Herbeck taps it forward, and the Czechs now are on fire. Coming in quickly, Zemlicka squeezed out of the play. Zemlicka gets back in there. And now we're seeing some good hockey from the Czechs as they warm to the crowd who are warming to them. Tapped along the boards, the Finns. A long pass up to Makala. Makala trying to get it out of the zone. Alatalo tips it in. Racing quickly after to Stabiana. Stabiana tied up by Niemannen. Niemannen unable to keep it in. Comes as far as the blue line. And the Czechs now with a chance. Hodak coming in. Takes the first shot, gets the second, hit the post. Milash is all over the crease. Another shot came whistling in as he sped by through the open crease and landed up on the wrong corner of the net. And a brilliant spell here from the Czechs as they apply the pressure to level the score here in the first period. It's easy to see what a goal can do for a team's confidence. The Czechs have been sluggish throughout the first period, have come back with a goal late in this first period, and now the offensive play is all for the Czech Republic. Korak drops the pass, and he had no support at all, and back come the Finns. Kapana leaves that one there. Laukinen, Makala, and Brize comes up big, but look at this guy at the other end of the wing, Jarmo Milesh who's often been overshadowed by Yukotami and Sakari Linfors is getting a chance to play the game of his life. He's had to wake up in a hurry, Paul. All the action in the past minute and a half or two minutes has been coming right at him. That shot going off the post earlier, the Czech Republic starting to really swarm in on the Finnish goal. Boy, I don't know how I'd react to having a camera that close to me. How would you like to be told they want you to stay in the net and hold that camera? <laughs> I know one or two guys who'd probably turn around and face it in just their hair. Tapped in quickly by the Finns as they try to take the steam out of this attack before it begins. Thrown up on the far side. Offside is the call. You like that camera in the net, don't you? At least for you, the last time you played in the net, you weren't wearing a mask. They'd offer you a mask if you'd go in and hold the camera for them this time. Hey, when I was playing, they didn't even have nets. They put a couple of cones in there. A look at the clock from Dolezal. Face off in neutralized territory. 30 seconds now remaining on the period. And what a period it's been, if this is any indication of what's to follow in this competition. Boy, have we got something to look forward to. Hamelainen couldn't hang on to that. Eventually gets back there in a hurry. The shadow coming from Kuchera. Time ticking down. Ten seconds now. And the Finns will take this one for a skate. And wait for the whistle to blow. There goes the buzzer to end the first 20 minutes of play in the competition. And I must admit I'm impressed with both teams. The Finns came out flying. They've thrown the puck around well, but a gutsy end to the period by the Czechs. They really did look strong. It could have been level had it not been for that post. 40 minutes of hockey to play. Both teams very evenly matched. You said, Paul, the Finns did come out quickly, but the Czechs established themselves after they scored the goal. And it's easy to see why these two teams, it is early days in the competition. 46 games will be played between Hackenhall and Jovic. And we're going to see most of them here on Eurosport. Whether Richard and I survive the, the distance or last the distance, we really don't know, but we're going to try to do it, bringing you one, two, and yes, possibly three games a day. The games will be replayed throughout the night. Hopefully we'll be sleeping when they'll be replayed, but it'll give you night owls a chance to see games when you can't see them during the day. 
Aside from it all, it's probably the time to tell you, Paul, that I've entered the two of us as an independent team in the two-man bobsled as well, so we'll have to work around that. <laughs> That's about the only thing we're not doing. The Czechs now playing from right to left in the red jerseys. Janetschke couldn't hang on to that. And the Finns bring it deep into the zone. Push along the boards. And one or two bodies falling there as we have another penalty on the plate. Rob Hearn likes this call. Holding again. He's going to wear the cuffs off his sleeves if he keeps making that call. The puck has just dropped. The play just going into the Czech zone. And very quickly we have a penalty. Hellman is dragged down along the boards. And uh, I don't, I'm not going to say anything. It's too early to start complaining. Well, well, let me then. Okay. In most leagues, that would be called picking the player off. It didn't. It looked pretty harmless to me. The referee didn't see it that way. And the checks are penalized once again. Kadlec in the penalty box for holding. From the corner, Makala. Makala on the hash marks again. Makala flips it all the way back to the blue. Utila lets the shot go. And that goes upstairs. The Finns with two power plays. They like to work the puck back to Utila on the point. Number five, watch for him on the one power play unit. The other one, they'll throw the, the young superstar Koivu out there. Number 11, he'll control the puck down low and look for a cheeky little pass to somebody around the front of the net. It took them five seconds to score on the last one. They haven't done it as quickly this time, but let's see. A long way to go. Was that shot all the way down the ice? Going deep forward is Stromberg. Stromberg slows it down, waits for a little support. Drifts that off. Helmanen starts it up on the right side. Floats in a center, throws it up on the left side. Back to Helmanen. Helmanen at the top of the circle. Helmanen looking for places to go. Sets it up. The box sets up for the Czech Republic. Rink wide pass to Utila. Utila lets the wrist shot go. Makala trying to get away from Horova. Horova doing some good defensive moves in the corner. Makala drops it back to the hash marks to number 14, Helmanen. Helmanen works in a position looking for Makala in the corner. Makala throws it all the way back. Helmanen squeezed out of the plate. And Makala now, and Helmanen doing a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two out there. A little cat and mouse from the two of them. Helmanen takes the shot. Brisa well and truly, well and truly screened on that as Makala gets it back to Helmanen again. A bit of traffic in front of the net, but nothing too serious now as Stromberg raced in to get that on the far post and couldn't collect. Utila back for it. Finns changing one or two bodies on the ice. Makala stays out there. Keskinen hits the blue line, fakes the shot. Keskinen trying to work in, turned around at the hash mark. Keskinen gloves it down and that bobbles out over the blue. And it'll give both teams a chance to change their lines up there. Keskinen flips it in the center. Makala still out on the ice. Makala feeding it in right across the goal mouth. Paolo deliver the pass, no one there to collect. Makala in the circle. And the checks now with Kadlec back on the ice or back at full strength. From right in front, Brisa makes the save. The second shot comes in. Makala picks it up, being shadowed by Serba. Keskinen working from behind the net. And the Finns now continue to apply the pressure. Niemannen doubles back. That bounces right in front. And Herbeck will pick it up for the Czechs and get it out of the zone. Zemlichka unable to get that away as Alatalo comes up nicely with Horova. Horova on his tail, took it off. That squeezed down the ice. Zemlichka, good move. Alatalo got back nicely, lifted the stick, and the puck goes the other way now. Niemannen. Niemannen moving in. Niemannen shoots. Brise closes the five hole, and that's bounced off the plexi all the way back to Laukinen. Laukinen gulls it in. Alatalo. Alatalo again goes after it. And the Finns again continue to apply the pressure. Some great stuff from the team in blue and white. Now the Czechs explode down the wing, throw it in front, looking for Janetski. That didn't work. Again, a change of personnel for both teams out there. Koivu drops it back. Alatalo, who's still out there, goes for a change, unable to get the stick on the puck. Coming up quickly, Gefertz. Nulesh cleared that away. It's not out of the zone. Koivu bats it down and starts out over his blue line. Head manning the puck nicely. Looking for the return pass. Pelton and dropped it back. The shot. 
coming in quickly there from Barris. A little wide of the target as the Czechs have trouble staying on their feet. Littinen squeezed out of the play on the far side of the rink. Utila hits the red and just dumps it in. And again, we'll see a change of personnel. Biza. Watch that one as it anxiously bounced off the side of the net. Shot from Oyanin was handled nicely by Brisa. And uh, now the teams will complete their change out there. But uh, again, we see some good stuff from the Finns. They've come out quickly as they did in the first period. The Finns are moving in the Czech zone and the Czechs are standing around watching them. They're making it a lot harder for themselves than they need to. The Finns are very strong on the pot. Physically, they have big, strong forwards. And the Czechs are going to have to get the legs going to move them off the pot. Two to one to score. The Finns leading the Czechs here in the second period. Verta looking for an opportunity to shoot. And the American referee looking for someone to sit in the penalty box. Rob Hearn seems to like to watch what's going on away from the play a lot. He's very tuned in to anything that's happening off the puck. Having a quick word with a couple of the players, a little hook away from the play, and the Czech Republic will have the power play. Puck coming back to the point. All kinds of time for Verta, but the whistle goes, and the penalty is issued. Marco Paolo going to the box for hooking. 4.26 the time of the penalty. Power play situation now for the Czech Republic as they move it up the ice. Tipped right at the red line as that goes the distance. Going in quickly is Verta. Trying to squeeze that into the corner. Comes all the way back to the blue. Bounced off the boards. That was too hard for Dolezal as it ricochets all the way around the rink. And going in quickly is Oyanin. This guy never stopped skating. Coming back on the attack, Kuchera. Kuchera, the shot wide of the target. Dolezal got the pass and got the shot away. Fed through the circle. Going after it now is Kuchera. Kuchera looking for Dolezal. Janecki is out there too. Katlich with a one-timer wide of the target. Another shot comes in. Janecki picking up the bounce off the boards. Kuchera along with Yunechki and Dolezal providing the firepower out there for the Czechs. Kuchera and Dolezal do a lot of the work. They'll be skating all over and 33-year-old Odakar Yunechki will just pick his spot and be open at the right time. He's one of those kind of players. He says, when the legs go, the head takes over. Remember a guy named Phil Esposito who used to do the same thing very successfully. Why not? Power play situation continues here. Trapped on the blue line and eventually shot out by Helmanen. And the Finns playing some aggressive defensive hockey out there. Makala shadowing. The Kuko, he gets it up onto the right wing and the Czechs now looking to get it out of their own zone. One, two, three, four, five. Czechs moving up quickly as Kastak hits the dirt as he threw that into the corner all the way back to the blue. Dumped into the hash marks. Looking for the pass there is Horva. Wide of the target. Utila chases his man. Zemlichka pumped it in along the boards. And the Czechs now start to throw the puck around. Horva. Looking to get the return pass. The one-timer there coming from Kakuko. Wide of the target as Mulish went down. Held right on the blue line by Horva. And that's wide of the target. Hossack was moving quickly right in front. And uh, it didn't come his way. A lot of pressure from the Czech Republic on this power play, but they're not hitting the target. Great observation, Paul. There's time. They're getting the shots off. Martin Hostak, number 22, is camped out in front of the goal, creating problems for Mulish, but the shots were hitting the backboards and not hitting the net. Six sixteen gone in the period as the Finns now get it out of their own zone. Coming up slowly on the right side. Flipped in for Serban. Serban. The Finns getting back to first strength. A long clearance in by Kiprasov. 
And Serbone goes back, backhands it over to an open wing. Not a great clearance from him as Berta fires it in. Koivu tried to take a shot at it, but that was bouncing all over the place. And eventually it trickles out to center ice. A little clutching and grabbing along the boards. And that bobbles back to the Czech defense. A big hit there on Zemlichka. Koivu comes up with it. Koivu gives it up and Brisa comes in as Varus came in on the right wing and the, uh, Koivu and Varus are working well in the opening stages of this game. Brisa coming out and taking the angle away once again. A bit of rough stuff going on away from the play. The referee and the two linesmen getting in there quickly. A couple players having to go at young Koivu, possibly told to give him a little bit of stick. Koivu, only five foot nine, and a lot of people consider him too small for the NHL, but uh, not the Montreal Canadiens. There's nothing wrong with being five foot nine, Paul. <laughs> oh, I had a feeling you were going to say that. Nearly six feet on skates. <laughs> Referee Hearn trying to keep control of the game, sending a player from each side to the penalty box to cool down. Both teams will skate four on four. Face off deep in Czech territory with seven minutes gone. That comes over. Utila takes the shot. That bounces the far corner. All the way back to the blue. Calling for it as Stromberg it doesn't come his way. Flipped over to Paolo. Paolo looking for somewhere to go. Powell pressed against the plexi. Eventually that comes back to the top of the circle. Breezer came out and he's indicating to the officials that that was palm forward. Oyanen works hard along the boards, gets it all the way back to Hamalainen. Hamalainen quick to dump it into Oyanen. Oyanen flips it behind the net. Powell back to the top of the circle and the Finns continue to apply pressure out there. 26, Romberg taken out of the play as he moves up from the D and back from the checks. 115 remaining on the penalty. The shot, Mulish makes the save. The second one tricks right to his doorstep as Capusta got the shot away and then came back quickly looking for the rebound. Exactly what the checks have got to do, start being hungrier on the rebounds, make Mulish handle the puck. Try and get it to bobble a little bit. The Finns have been tough defensively around the front of their own goal. The teams with a lot of ice as Koivu and Rebeck are in the penalty box for roughing four on four. And with this kind of ice surface, the more the merrier out there. Big ice surface and lots of room to move. Janetski moves into the face-off circle. We still have a 2-1 scoreline out there with the Finns hanging on to that lead. But I must say the Czechs have settled down into this game. I feel that the Finns still have the advantage as far as possession is concerned out there. But they're not putting the puck in the net. So the Finns hang on to that one goal lead. Utila with a chance to shoot. Ended up all the way back at the blue line on the far side. The wrist shot comes in. That ricochets off the plexi. Back to Utila who backhands it in as far as the hash marks. And it bobbles back out. A two-on-one situation now. Janetski. Janetski looking for Kuchera. Passed in Kamal for Hellman and did a good job of back checking to get into the play. 28 seconds on the coincidental penalties as the Finns work it up slowly, waiting for support. Three checks back. The bouncing puck goes in in the corner. And Makala elects to dump it back, looking for Hellmanen. Korova doing a good job of back checking, gets the puck, brings it up uh, as far as the center red line, and it bounces up to Makala. Makala with five seconds on the coincidental penalties. Falls at center rice, as does Keskinen. One or two people looking for yet another penalty out there. Both teams back at full strength now, as Herbeck picks it up and throws it to the far side to Kakuko. Makla finally makes his way to the bench for a change. They seem to have to send up flares every time they want to get this guy off the ice. Kapusov goes back behind his own net, being shadowed there by 22, Martin Hostak. Both players end up on the far side of the boards. Kostak gunning for that puck. That didn't come his way. And here comes Keskinen. Keskinen with Kostak. Hostak. Niemannen tries to drop it over. That didn't work. And the Finns with Alatalo double back into their own zone. A lot of stuff happening, happening off the puck. And the whistle blows as that's picked up by Stavjana. 
Once again, the referee getting involved. It's action that's taking place just off the puck. Saracen makes his way to the box, high sticking the call. The checks are going to have to stay out of the box a little bit better than they are right now. They're down by a goal, and it's not their normal style of hockey to be sitting shorthanded. A little bit of a wrestling match. Verda just holding his ground, letting Saracen take the penalty. Koivu from the faceoff got it in. That penalty at 9.45 into the period. The Finns with a man advantage. Uchula feeds it in nicely. Picked up by Peltonen. Peltonen taking his time, moves into the circle. Peltonen drops beside the net. And Koivu got it right through the crease as Stromberg moves in quickly to dump it back in. Excellent stop from both teams as the Finns apply the pressure and the Czechs hang on desperately out there to defend and kill off yet another penalty. Cameraman electing to stay with Koivu. A lot of pressure on this young 19-year-old kid. We've mentioned it before, he has been drafted by the Canadians, but a lot of eyes on this guy. When you're a first draft choice, people really want to check you out and find out are you going to be worthy of it or not. That's one of the nice things about watching the Olympics. You get to see these guys before they get to the clutch and gla grab hockey in the NHL. It's not that easy to see NHL hockey in Europe and the, the Olympics, as well as the World Championships, really does provide a great platform for these youngsters to perform. Shot comes in quickly, and Verta tips it back into the corner. Still pressure as Verta picks it up back of the blue. Verta, the top of the high slot, over to the uh, far side, and the Finns need a bit more movement out there. Oyanen, Oyanen. Back to Verta. Verta elects to go for the shot. Breeze is down. The loose puck is there. Oyanen moved in. Makala was there, but he couldn't spin around to take the shot. And that bobbles all the way down to Mulish, who gets it up quickly. Kiprusov. Makala. Keskinen. And the Finns doing a great job of keeping the puck in the zone. Back to the blue, Laukinen bobbled that, and it went out. The Finns will have to come out of the zone. Eight seconds on the power play. The Czechs seem to have adjusted their penalty killing unit out there. They're dropping the box down low when need be. Situation there, the front man coming back just to tip the puck away from the Finnish player in the slot. They're doing a good job of clearing the rebounds away, letting Breeza have the first shot. Alitalo perfectly positioned as that came through the crease. He took a swipe at it and missed it completely. Janetski now wants to grab and he goes down the right side. The chase is on. Keskinen is there. Janetski dumped along the boards and looks up at the official and looks to have what he wanted. That is a silly penalty to take. There was a back checker right with Janetski. He's going face to face with the defenseman. He's pulled down. Not the kind of penalty that the Finnish coaching staff is going to be happy with. The stick up well over the shoulders. And Laukinen sits for two at 12.09. There's the wraparound coming from Keskinen, Alatalo took a swipe and this is how Brisa moves in his net from post to post he had the right side covered and Alitalo just couldn't pop it in the open corner 12.09 gone in the second period the checks now with an all important power play Serban threw that in nicely for Sersen, Sersen delivers that to the far side and the Finns getting back in a hurry Kostak taken out of the play, and that's flipped down the ice, and it'll take the pressure off the Finns for just a moment. Let's go, let's go, as Kikuko brings it up 
on the left-hand side. Bangs that off the boards. Mulish is there to pick it up and send it on its way. Good stuff from the Finnish goaltender as that comes out of the zone. Kikuko tries it again. The Finns go for a change. Up on the wing to 17, Sersen. Sersen is squeezed out, but Horva taps it back in, but that goes over the boards and we'll have a face-off and a chance for both teams to complete their lineups out there. Good defense from the Finns, not allowing the Czechs to get deep into the zone and set it up. As soon as the Czechs came over the blue line, the spin-around attempt was there. And right on them was the Finnish defender. They're just stopping and starting really well and not allowing the checks to set up. Face off just inside the Finnish zone and that goes back onto the Czech defense with Serbat feeding it to the far side. Serbat circles back in front of his own goal as the Czechs move up quickly with Herbeck flipping it in. Berta is there first. Berta gets a stick to it, and that goes out of the zone. Serbat taps it forward, 52 seconds on the power play. Zemlichka is out there now for the Czechs. Zemlichka moves in quickly with Herbeck. Herbeck along the boards. Kitrusov directs that to the near side, and the Czechs unable to set it up. The Finns are racing to the puck in a hurry. Geffert trying to move things with Berta applying some pressure for the Finns. Saviana gets it over to Herbeck, who feeds it to Zemlichka. Kiprusov shadows there, Zemlichka. The drop pass coming to 25, Geffert. That comes over to the near side. Now it's starting to work. Serban slows it down back at the blue line, and a great little move there by Paolo to send it down the rink. And again, both teams change. Six seconds on the power play. Front men going off quickly for the Finns as they threw the puck down in the zone, and they've successfully killed the penalty off. Laukinen back on the ice for Finland. Both teams at full strength. Icing the call. Kurt Lindstrom, the Finnish coach, certainly has this team fired up. They're playing some aggressive stuff. The Czechs struggling on the power play. When the pass finally did come back to Serban on the point, the Finns are so quick to react, they were all over him. One or two colorful characters out there. The pass from the side of the net from Horak didn't work. The second attempt, it's Tupal's turn. Tupal squeezed out by Helmanen. Helmanen starts up on the left side. Helmanen has room to move, gets it up to Kapanen. Kapanen and Helmanen. The shot is Kapanen! Oh boy, was Breeze surprised on that one? Kapanen got that one away in a hurry. Breeze cleanly beaten. Kapanen is celebrating. The Finns back into a two-goal lead. What a shot. Did he just find the inside of that post or what? Great goal by the Finns. Good heads-up pass. Wastes no time getting it away. Varies a little bit late getting over to him. Breeze beaten. Fourteen thirty-two, the time of the third goal from Finland. And to come to Breeze's defense, you wouldn't expect a shot from there. Or would you? Why not shoot when you got the chance? Having said he wasn't expecting the shot, that's one thing, but that was a darn good shot as well. He picked the corner very nicely on the far side. Three to one the score now. The Finns Pop another one here in the second. That bounces nicely for the Czechs. Ganechki drops it back. 21 Kuchera looking for places to go. Moving up there was Dolezal. Dolezal beaten to the puck by Utila. And that's shot in quickly by Kikuko. Bounces to the near side to Horva. Horva feeds it along the boards. And the Czechs now desperately need to get back into this one. Kuchera, his pass out is kept in by Kukuko, but uh, Lauken is there to come to the rescue. Makala delivers that to the near side, but the Czechs will pick it up at the blue line. Horova, his pass is along the boards. Dolezal tries to get it out front, and that will go the distance.
Another shot at that goal scorer, Sammy Kapanen. The Finns looking for the line change, elected to ice the puck. They're not in any danger. They got fresh troops on the ice. They've just got to do what they've got to do on the faceoff here. Every time it appears that the Czechs are going to get back into it, the Finns come up with something surprising. Hostak is asked to leave the circle. Sersen moves in for the Czech Republic. Shot took a deflection as it came from the blue. Kadlec kept it in nicely. Verta couldn't hang on to that. Tupal beat it to him, but Kiprasov is there for Finland. A long pass up through the neutral zone. Coming in on the backhand side was Koivu. Koivu fed it over to Peltinen. And Koivu, every time he touches the puck, has this crowd here on their feet. Long shot in by Verta. Lettinen. A bouncing puck eventually gathered by Serba, who gets it out of the zone. And that seems to be the state of affairs right now for the Czechs. They're just getting it out of harm's way. Clear it out of the zone and perhaps regroup. But the Finns are bringing it right back in. Paolo muscling behind the net. Paolo still giving Serba a hard time as that scoots all the way out to the hash marks. Big hit there by Serban. Hostak trying to keep it out. Shot. And Brise is right there with Varus and Oyanen knocking on the doorstep. Varus moved in quickly, but Brise went down on the pads to smother it. Good aggressive play from Petri Varez. Working hard on the rebounds. The Finns still keeping the puck down low. Earlier, a lovely backhand pass from Koivu. Pelton and just unlucky not to get the final touch on that. Varez with two shots at the rebound, forcing Brise to hold on to the puck. The Finns remain hungry in the Czech zone. Face off deep in Czech territory. 16-39 now gone on the period. Vopat. Kadlec. Vopat calling for it. Kadlec hangs on and goes down the right side. Looking to thread the eye of the needle. Long pass up the middle. Good pass from Kadlec. Coming up now on the backhand side. Herbeck moving in with Gefert. The Czech still trying a little bit too much of the individual stuff. One guy trying to take on two or three defenders. They were most successful near the end of the first period when they started coming down two and three at a time. Herbeck gunning for that short side. The draw is won, and the Czechs feed it in with Quebec winning the draw. Pushed away now by Kapanen. Laukinen doubles back for the Finns. The Finns looking a lot more confident and composed than they have in other competitions in which we've seen them compete. A long clearance in. Mulish comes out to smother it. Jutila says fire it along the plexi. Clear it as far as the blue line, and... Kikuko got the shot away. Mulish comes up with a glove hand save and forces the face off. Mulish with a good job of just containing the puck, not allowing a rebound to squirt out. Referee probably uh, asking him how his mum's bursitis is or something. I'm not sure why he's got to go over and talk to him after he makes a save. He's probably saying that uh, you know if you have a chance to throw that puck out and keep the game going, you would do that, wouldn't you? And Mulish would say, of course, of course, I would do that all the time, why not? It's only when I can't get it out of my glove that uh, I'll give it to you for a face-off. Another face-off in Finnish territory is Keskinen, unable to get that back, moves in to tie up his man, the shot comes in and we'll have another face-off. Twenty-eight-year-old Yarmo Mulish, who plays his hockey in Lukorama in Finland, having a great game out there for Finland as we take a look at the excellent support both teams are getting here in the opening game. Kiprusov a lazy pass up to Keskinen. The pass on the right wing. Alatalo moving in on the backhand side. Alatalo looking for a little support. 
as Keskinen moves in front. Alatalo tries to get it through to Keskinen. That didn't work, and it comes back to Kiprusov back at the blue line. Kiprusov moves back into his own zone, and the Finns start up quickly. Oyanin and Keskinen moving out there. Keskinen took the shot. Alatalo kicks it along the boards. Berta is calling for it at the hash marks, but that goes the other way. Horova wants it, and Kikuko feeds it out of his own. A long clearance goes the distance, and we'll have another whistle on the play and another face-off deep in Czech territory. Look at Tupal as he takes a rest. Still struggling to try and get the puck out of the zone. Tupal, an offensive player, would like to have the puck at the other end of the ice. Well, you know, they say the Canadians and the Americans come over here and they blow everything in the first round, winning everything possible. The Russians, the Czechs, the Swedes, and the Finns play more like hustlers in a snooker, snooker hall. And they do enough to get into the final four in each group and then show what they've really got in the final four when it really counts. It really does look like both teams here are showing everything they've got. They're playing some excellent hockey, and it's tough to think that the Finns could really step it up another gear, but I'm sure they can. It'll be interesting to see how the Canadians and the Americans play it when they come into the tournament. Over the years, we've seen Canada do extremely well in the first round and then do nothing in the final round. That goes for the World Championships, too. Dolezal getting back to break things up. One minute remaining on the second period. 3-1 the scoreline. The Finns still hanging on to that lead. Stromberg along the boards. And that goes out of play and we'll have another face-off. The reason I mentioned the hustling pool hall mentality is that later on today, the Norwegians play against the Russians. The Norwegians will have the home town advantage and the Russians are always slow starters so it'll be interesting to see if the Norwegians can pull one off. That'll be a game later on today on Eurosport and then after that the Austrians take on the Germans. Both teams still changing very quickly. The kid line going off for the finish side. 16, 11 and 20. Koivu the 19 year old. His two veteran wingers are both 20. So this line Seeing a lot of action, certainly with getting great experience for their age. They're classified as junior players by age. One or two players in this competition will be going directly to the NHL after that final on uh, February 27th, which incidentally will be shown live here on Eurosport if you're tired of seeing 10-minute clips of just goals and turn on to us. We're going to bring you most of the games live and uh, when we can't possibly do that, you're going to see most of each game pre-recorded but it will be on at some time. There are 46 games. Last Olympics we showed 33. Kadlech drops it back just a few seconds on the clock as Sersen taps it forward. The return pass there from Hostak. Ten seconds on the clock as Laukinen breaks that up and puts it into the neutral zone. Five seconds as the whistle blows. Laukinen getting back in there with Hostak looking for room to move. Time running down in the second period. Coach Linka showing very little emotion, scratching his chin once in a while, shuffling his papers. Got a little bit of work to do yet. He's down by two goals, 3-1. The Finns on top. The Czechs have played in spurts, but offensively they still could generate a little bit more. They've got the power to do it. Face off in neutralized territory with a handful of seconds remaining on the clock. Neither team will want to give anything away as Keskinen gets that through and Niemannen just flips it into Breeze's doorstep. One goal scored, and that came from a finished stick, Sammy Kapanen, number 24. And the score after 40 minutes of play is the Finns three, the Czechs one. And what do you do if you're the Czech coach and you've got 20 minutes left in this game and your offensive attack isn't working? 
I think they've got to get two or three men going forward. I mentioned it earlier. It's a lot of individual stuff. One on two or one guy going around the outside taking a backhander. They need more rebounds and they need to create more havoc around the front of the finished goal. The Finns are shutting them down right now, clearing the zone and letting their own four check dictate this game. Still a long way to go and it is a long competition. 16 days in all. And each team will play five games in their group before they separate into the top four in each of the two groups. They will go on to play for the medals. So we've seen two goals in the first period from the Finns, Utila and Oyana. Kostak made it a little more respectable at the end of the period, so it was 2-1 to one after 20 minutes of play. And number 24, Kapana made it 3-1 to one for the Finns. What's going to happen in the third and final period? Well, join us in a moment because we'll be back with live action from Hacken Hall in Lillehammer in just a moment. This is Paul Ferguson with Richard Beaupre. Still a lot more action to come. Welcome back. We are live in Lillehammer, the Czech Republic, trailing the Finns 3-1. to one. This is game one on day one in the ice hockey competition. The Finns now coming out onto the ice, and they really must be happy with what they've done so far, but don't count the Czechs out. They have a lot of talent. They've got great goaltending, experienced coaching, and we still have 20 minutes of hockey out there. Coach Alenka of the Czech side would like to see more shots going in at the Finnish goaltender. After two periods of play, the Finns have outshot the Czechs 21-9. to Not very good offensive strength shown by the Czechs. Only have nine shots on goal after 40 minutes of play. The penalties being the other situation. Silly penalties, the hooking and holding calls. 12 minutes against the Czechs, six minutes against the Finns. That has a lot to do with things as well. And there's a good shot of the man who scored that third goal for Finland. A quick release from in the circle. And he's telling the veteran how he did it. That's right. Look, if someone passes you the puck and you shoot it quick, you never know, you might score. Just laying it out for him, Paul. <laughs> uh, Miko Makala has done it before. Brisa between the pipes for the Czech Republic. And uh, he can't be that happy with the support he's been getting in front of the net. Jarmo Mulish must be very happy indeed. The Finns are coming up, or have come up so far, with a good team effort, effort as Kiprasov drops that back, and the Finns start it up on the left side. Along the boards, eventually cleared in by Kapanen. Kadlec, long pass as the Czechs go for that quick break up the middle. The whistle blows, and the face-off will be down the other end of the rink. There's still a lot of time to play. The Czechs aren't going to panic yet, but they are going to try and open up the Finnish defense a little. Try a couple of long passes, maybe leave one guy hanging out a little high. they get, they got to get something going. Berta kind of limps off the ice. A quick change for him. As we get set for this face-off, the Czech picked up a bronze in 92. And we'd like to improve on that this year. From behind the net, Kikuko starts it up on the right side, decides to double back and do it again. Long pass up the middle intended for Hostak. That didn't work. Hamelainen stays on Hostak. Hostak gets the pass away. A tip from the side of the net. Hostak looking for number 17. Sersen, the shot from in. Mulash was right there as Kastak spun around and got a piece of it. And that trickles out down the ice. The Czechs will have to get back with Horva, feeding it over to Kikuko. Czechs need more of that. Kastak just hacking and whacking around the front of the goal. Out of the Czechs, 10 or 11 shots on net. Kastak has probably had about six of them. Sersen in front of his own goal to the open wing. Kikuko taps it up the right-hand side, and the whistle blows as Zemlichka breaks in over the blue. 
Zemlichka is a great character, isn't he? He's a freewheeler. Reminds me a lot of Davidov, who used to play for the Soviet Union, now in the National Hockey League. But uh, a colorful character, a unique skating style, and capable of exploding at any moment. Serson is taking a break as Verta shoots it in. Serban puts it right in front, a dangerous pass that went off of skates, and Serban will try it again. Serban working with Stavjana, that goes up along the boards, and the Czechs just get it out of the zone. Kiprusov has to go deep. Nice little pass laid off with some good forechecking from Gefertz. Gefertz causing one or two problems along the boards. Lettinen gets back to help out. Lettinen picks up the puck, and Lettinen gets it out of his skate and gets it out of his zone. Good work by the forward Lettinen to help the defense out and just muscle the puck off the boards and clear it out of danger. Laukinen to the far side. Looks like a give and go and the pass doesn't come his way. Now it goes through and the checks are caught changing on the fly. Paolo tried to make a move against number 14. Horak, that didn't work. The shot comes in and Mulish got a piece of it. Oyanin feeds it over into center ice and the checks are there to break it up. Gopat tries to steer it up to Tupal. Hamalainen rescues the situation with some forechecking from Horak. Oyanin, short pass, the return pass goes through his skate. Tupal breaks up on the far side. Tupal looking for the drop pass. Horak moving in quickly on the left side. Kadlec now steers it in the corner. And the checks being hammered out of the play as Tupal, unable to get a stick on it, lets it ride. Hamalainen, with three minutes gone, feeds that all the way down to Kadlec. Kadlec tries to get it back up in a hurry, and he does. Dolezal, through the middle. Janetski. And the Czechs looking to get that quick break. They're well known, as are the Swedes and the Russians, for the quick break threading the eye of the needle, but they're not making it work against these guys. Dinechki just having to put that extra move on at the blue line, throwing his winger offside. The backhand shot coming in there. Kuchera got a piece of it. Laukinen muscles in the corner and the Finns come up with a puck. Back on the attack now. Makala feeds it over to the right side. The drop pass from Utila to Makala. Back to Utila. Kikuku is there, and that trickles back to the blue line. And the Finns somehow keep it in. Makala goes for a skate. Coming in quickly now is Kapanen. He's muscled out of the play, and Dolezal feeds it up. Janetski stopped at the blue line. Kuchera tries to get through. And I was just about to say, some holding just inside the blue line. Hooking is the call. Either way you look at it, the guy couldn't move. Well, people in the crowd yelling, give him a rope. It certainly looked like he had him tied there for a second or two. Looks like a night at the dances here for a minute with players hugging and holding all over the place. Kuchera's stick was grabbed. The Finns penalized the Czechs with an important power play. The next goal has got to be theirs. They're trailing by two. 3.56 gone in the third and final period. This would certainly be the place to capitalize. 23-year-old Laukinen sits for two at 3.58. And that goes into the corner. The clearance there by Kostak. Kostak working with Hostak. The pass all the way back. Flipped over now. Horvath trying to get the shot away. He does and... Munich is there to grab it on the blocker with Verta standing guard. Hostak on his knees in front of the goal, having a go at the referee as to why he's on his knees, being muscled around by the Finnish defenseman as he's trying to stand in there and create a screen for Horova, who was letting it go from the point. Hostak goes into the face-off circle. That trickles back to Horova, who does a great job of keeping it in, but at the second attempt, the Finns shoot at the distance. Vikuko, long pass forward up onto the wing. Kastak got it up to Hostak. 
Hostack bounces it off the boards and Verta is there to collect. Verta gently taps it up to the hash marks and the Finns get it down the ice. Keskinen will forecheck here and Brisa elects to hang on to it as Vakuko slows it down and the checks with 105 remaining on the power play started up. Herbeck. Herbeck getting around Lettinen is stopped right on the boards at the blue and the Czechs will have to try it again. Zemlichka picks it up in his own zone and drops it off. Zemlichka and Tupal trying to get something going as Kastak and Hostak go for a rest. Koivu now for the Finns at his own blue line rags the puck for a couple of seconds and shoots it down and Surban a rink wide pass to Stavjana. Stavjana taps it forward. And Kiprasov will get this one first. Rattles that off the woodwork, but it's not out of the zone. Keskinen brings it out slowly. Herbeck is there. And Herbeck applying the pressure on Keskinen. Gefert and Herbeck along the boards doing a great job of keeping it in. But only for the moment. That goes all the way down. Brisa comes out and clears it up over the blue and the reds. And Lichka couldn't get a handle on it. Stabiana. Stabiana feeds it in nicely. The shot. Gefert from the sharp angle on the wrong wing. Missed the net completely going for the short side. Good play by Stabiana. Gefert could have made more of that shot. Both teams back at equal strength. Serban dropped it back. Working up is Tupal. Tupal gets a push and a shove from Helmanen. Hamelainen couldn't get a handle on that. Verta directed it over to Makala. And the Finns get it out of the zone. And eventually, Kadlec steers it up to Tupal. Tupal's little pass back to Kadlec didn't work. One or two fins collide. Makala looking for the return pass. Now Makala's on the wing, but the shot doesn't, or the pass rather from uh, Helmanen doesn't come his way. It was directed more towards Brisa. Helmanen trying to get that in front. Brisa got a stick to it. Makala couldn't get on it. That comes out of the zone, and again, both teams will go for a change as Hamelainen brings it right back in. The Finns are dumping the puck quite a lot in this third period, but obviously Coach Alenka on the Czech bench has had a word between the periods about defensive coverage, and the Czechs are playing the Finns much better man for man in their own defensive zone. Vopat gets it up on the wing to Kuchera. Kuchera. The bounce is kindly for the Finns, and coming in now is Keskinen. Keskinen, dipsy doodles in the circle. Breezer gets a stick to it. The return pass to Keskinen on the far side of the rink, and he rattles that off the plexi. That bounces down behind the goal, and Dolezal picks it up. Janetschke is out there now. That goes to an open wing, and Utila brings it in with Alatalo. And the Czechs unable to move out there as the Finns continue to hang on to that puck and check the Czechs before they get going. Alatalo sees that go off his skate. Janetschke tried to do something too clever by half, and it didn't work. Yuri Vikuko throws the puck up on the right side, and Janetschke now has it. Janetschke's pass is given to Koivu. Koivu flips it up nicely, and the Finns trying to stick her through a herd of players out there. Can't go anywhere. All the way back to the blue. Kiprasov couldn't hang on to it, but fortunately Lettinen was there to collect. Back into the zone. Grisa stops it. Pelchinen unable to get there first. Hostak looking for Kastak. A long pass up on the wing. Sersen taken out of the play. The shot coming in. Hostak was right there. Mulish went up. Kastak tries to get it back to the blue and that doesn't work. The Czechs have picked up their play. They're walking out of their zone, own zone a lot better now than they have throughout the game. The forwards are back a little deeper. And they're so dangerous, even given one opportunity, as Hostak and Kastak nearly linked up on that play. Coming up to the nine-minute mark in the third period. Long shot wide of the target. Three to one the score as the whistle blows. The Finns hanging on to that lead. And the Czechs having difficulty for a spell getting out of their own zone it was just get as far as the blue line lose possession the Finns dumped it in it's not pretty hockey but it's going the Finns way that's for sure the tactics are certainly right by the Finnish coaching staff to have the boys get the center dump it in one guy going hard they're just not making it easy for the Czechs with time on in favor of the Finns at this point the shot of the Czech Prime Minister there 
can't be too happy about the scoreline right now, but as I say, things could turn around at any moment. Paolo Hamalainen and dumped in for Stabiana. Stabiana, the 30-year-old Czech, throws it up on the left side. Hamalainen is there to take that off the stick and bring it right back up the ice. Brisa, a little pass up to Stabiana. Barris is out there. He can't get a stick on it. Herbeck, Herbeck drops it back. Good defensive stuff from Paolo. Paolo feeds it up on the right side. The Finns now attacking. Paolo goes in, takes the shot. Brisa went down, but the puck didn't go anywhere near the net. Good defensive move as Kadrilic moved into the play, and the Czechs come back on the attack. Going back in a hurry is Laukinen. Ten minutes now remaining in the game. Three to one the scoreline. This is live on Eurosport. The Finns are leading this one. Kapusta, who hasn't seen a lot of ice, is out there with Janetski. Janetski drops it over for Horak. Horak looking for Tupal. Tupal right in front of the net and the pass or the shot didn't come his way. Laukinen got down and made the old-time hockey save and then got up and got it out of the zone. Excellent play by Laukinen, taking the pressure off the goaltender altogether. Two-on-one opportunity, nicely played by Laukinen. That's the kind of thing a goaltender loves to see. Tupal now bringing it in. Herbeck, Kuchera, three of them moving in close but unable to get the shot away and that's the story of the game so far. They're being out hustled. But even when they get in front of the net, they're not getting a quality shot on goal. Kadlech muffed his uh, pass, and that slowed the whole thing down, and everyone went over the blue line before the puck offside the call. Tupal on the right wing, just a stride ahead as the puck hit the blue line. Plenty of hockey to come here on Eurosport. The Czechs down by two in the third period in this opening game, a crucial one for the Finns as they want to get off and running here. Scandinavian hockey, a lot of prestige, a lot of honor here between the local countries, Sweden, Finland, Norway, the Finns showing that they're in it for real. Keskinen wins the draw and gets it all the way back onto the D, and that's put up on the wing. Niemannen bumped out of the plate, and that goes deep. Milish, little pass up to Hamalainen. Hamalainen somehow got away with that. Hamalainen moves up quickly, hits the red, and flips it in. Horeva races in, but Brisa got to it first, cleared it up on the wing. 26, Dolezal. Dolezal pass is intercepted by Keskinen and fed right back in. Horeva is there for the Czech Republic. Alatalo for checking as Dolezal comes back and calls for the puck. Bikuko picks it up as it goes in the other direction. Horeva wants it back. Kuchera. Pushes and shoves along the wing as Niemannen gets it. Niemannen's pass goes out into center ice. Dolezal brings it right back in. The backhander goes as far as Hamalainen. Hamalainen waiting for a little support and a change of personnel out there. The return pass and Hamalainen on his, has it on the near side. Brings it up. Time ticking down on the clock for the checks. 3-1 the score. Brisa lets that go. Kastak. Serban. Long pass in the center. Koivu couldn't get a stick on that. Serban pushes forward yet again. And Kastak taken out of the play. Hostak sees that bounce over his stick. Sersen feeds it through. Hostak looking for Kastak. And some good defensive stuff there as Lettinen gets it out of the zone. Once again, the 20-year-old kid Lettinen getting back to help out his defenseman. In this period especially, he's done an excellent job of helping to clear the zone for the Finns. Kiprusov with the shadow coming from Martin Hostak gets it up and again it bounces kindly for the Finns as that comes out of the zone. Sersen drops it back to the D. 13 minutes gone as that bounces off the boards and we're getting a fresh nasty bounce off those backboards and I'm sure the goaltenders in practice would have been aware of that. A lot of spring in the boards behind the goal was the Checks bring it forward. And again, they're doing it on an individual basis. They're trying the long pass, which I think they should shorten. And they're doing the individual stick handling effort on goals when I think they should possibly 
throw the puck around a little more. The Finns trying to have that face-off come outside the zone as the Czech player ended up on the puck. Stromberg bounces that off the boards and the Finns now come out in a hurry. Paolo hits the blue line and puts it in the net. But the whistle had already blown and uh, did Paolo hear the whistle? Those are the situations where if you are that winger that was a nose offside, you're trying to find some place to hide. Paolo had gotten over the blue line let a quick shot go, it ended up into the net, but the whistle had clearly blown ahead of the play, offsides being the call. A look at Paolo hitting the blue line, quickly got it away, Breeza saved by the whistle. Along the boards on the far side, 3-1 to one still the score. Laukinen can't hang on to that. Tupol stole it from him. And Kuchera, along with Horak out there, couldn't make anything of it. Horak doing a great job of forechecking. And again, we have an offside whistle as play breaks down at the blue line. Makala just ahead of Laukinen. And Makala being warned by the referee not to shoot the puck after the whistle as he skated back over the blue line. from I don't know but I think I got a tie that matches that guy's jersey face off with Keskinen going in the face off circle just outside the Czech blue and the Czech are going to have to pick things up here and get some more shots on goal as Vikuko feeds it to the far side Tupal wants it directed into Mulish and that bounced and almost bounced into the back of the net Horak moving along with Tupal. Tupal and Horak causing problems in the corner. The Finns are back in numbers as they attempt to get this out of the zone. Tupal now working hard on the backhand side. Kicking the puck along and eventually it comes out to the hash marks and comes out to the blue line and scoots over with the Kukul picking it up and feeding it to the far side. Again, it's dumped back in the zone as the Finns go for a change. Kiprusov is hammered into the boards but he gets rid of the puck. And that's squeezed out into neutralized territory. And the Czechs get it right back in. Over the red, over the red. Icing is the call. The Czechs trying to step it up on the four check. Some good grinding hockey. Body for body. The Finns doing everything they could do to muscle the puck out. The action's fast, but it's very clean at this point as well. It's nice to see the guys bumping each other and playing it tough along the boards, but the sticks and the elbows are staying down. The physical part of the game played in those corners. That's why these guys are spending perhaps 25, 30 seconds at a time out on the ice. One or two teams that come to the major competitions just, just don't have the depth, and they try to play the big guys for two or three minutes at a time. That's not going to work at this level. Breeze watches that one go in the corner. Still not out of the zone as Peltonen moves in quickly. Peltonen gets back into position as that goes to the far side. And the Czechs now move it out slowly. The Czechs with five guys in the neutral zone taken out there as Dolezal as he tried to do it all on his own. Koivu sidesteps one man. Serban's right there to kick it out. Some good back checking by Hamelinen, but that's going to cost him. The idea was right, Hamelinen coming back to help out. But a little bit too much stick work by Hamelinen as he makes his way to the penalty box for hooking. The stick is in there, the legs are going. 21, Kuchera is trying to get off to the races. Nice dive by him at the end, but he was pulled down. Hamelinen a stride out of position there as Kuchera jumped the gun and got behind the big defenseman he sits for two face off deep in finished territory 15-23 the time of the penalty if the Czechs are going to do anything they got to do it now 
time is not in their favor. They've got to have a goal here, down by two. A goal on the power play could certainly lift them into the final minutes. Kadlec gets it up nicely to 21. Kuchera, who pushes it onto the far side to Dolezal. Comes all the way around to the near side, and the Czechs are going to have to be quick on the gun here. Janecki right into the circle. A chance with Janecki again at the hash marks. All the way back to the blue. Janecki working with Vopat. Janecki flips it over the far side. Can't get the shot away. Janecki reaches for that and just can't get the shot away. Kadlec steers it over to an open wing. It's still kept in the zone. Vopat. Kadlec lets the shot go. And Mulish is right there. And lots of support as Dolezal and Kuchera move in in a hurry. Goal is all in front of the goal. The man trying to get the rebound. Udala coming in to assert himself. Oyanin comes up with a, a little elbow on Kuchera as he moved away from the play. And was that a smile or a grimace? Hard to say. The finished defense playing a nice tight box, forcing the Czechs to keep the puck to the outside. They finally do get a shot away from the point, but Mulish does a good job of making sure that Dolezal doesn't have anything to say about a rebound. The puck comes right back into the zone and the Czechs trying to set it up. But uh, Hellman was there in a hurry to break it up. Brisa, Brisa bangs it off the backboards a terrible clearance from Petra Brisa and the Finns have possession of the puck and they'll go for a skate Verta clears it all the way down the ice and Brisa will be wondering what was going through his mind on that one the pass up center and the Czechs now breaking down on the right side coming in Kostak Hostak Hostak with one hand on the stick Kostak have a chance trying to get it out front and it didn't work one two three four Finns back to break it up with 26 seconds on the power play. Kastak and Hostak, the two guns offensively for the Czechs. These are the guys that have got to make something happen. Hostak now working with Sersen as that squeezes to the far side. Bikoku spins around, gets it into the hash marks. Lavkoku goes down. Lavkinen rather goes down and didn't block it on this occasion, but uh, Zemlicka has to go deep. The pass up on the left wing. Back come the Czechs. The Finns are back at full strength as Zemlicka moves in in a hurry, but the penalty successfully killed off. Herbeck now is dumped. Zemlicka looking for the loose puck and can't get around Keskinen. A gentle pass down the ice gets the Finns out of trouble. Three to one the score. Serban for the Czechs tries to hurry it up and tries to get the pass through to Zemlicka. Good back checking in the neutral zone from Keskinen. Serban feeds it over to the far side. The clock is kicking, ticking down, and the long pass up through the middle to Gefert is an offside pass. And Linka will have to dig deep if he wants to pull this one out. Linka is trying to find the answer. The Finns have done an excellent job of playing defensive hockey, but not going into a defensive shell. They have forced to play. They're dumping the puck into the Czech zone. And when the Czechoslovakians have the puck, there just isn't room for them to do anything. They're not being allowed to have that extra stride. The Finns, man for man and body for body, are taking them right out of the play nicely. 17-53 gone in the third and final period. And the Czechs with Kadlec on the right side. Kadlec, a long pass up the middle. Tupal. Tupal lays it along the boards. Kipusov is there to intercept. Koivu goes for a skate. Koivu picks up the bouncing puck. Tupal takes it away from him. Horak wants it on the wing and it doesn't come his way as the Czechs shoot it in. Kipusov is back in a hurry. A quick clearance goes off, a glove hand, and the Finns go for a change out there. As Vopat has to go deep. Vopat, a rink-wide pass, and the Czechs start it up. Another rink-wide pass as the Czechs throw it around. Coming up now is Dolezal. Some good defensive stuff as the Finns stay with their men out there and prevent the Czechs from getting quality shots on goal. Back on the attack now with less than two minutes on the clock. Koivu goes for a change but knows this one is in the bag. Kadlec picks it up. The last minute of play. Kadlec doubles back. Varus stays on him. Kadlec, a long pass. One, two, three. Checks hit the blue line. Janecki brings it over, and he's taken out of the play. And back comes Palo. Palo takes the shot. 
And Breeza gloves it down and keeps the clock going. Breeza having a look at Halenka. He'll be trying to get off the ice as quickly as he can. The Czechs are unable to get it deep into the Finnish territory to allow him to get off the ice. By Kuko to the far side, a return pass over to the near side, and again, the Finns coming forward to break that down before it starts. 29 seconds on the clock. The Czechs need a quick goal. Mulish lets that bounce and then shoots it all the way down the ice. Brisa bats it right back up to Vekuko. Vekuko hits the red line, throws it in the center. Horeba has a chance. Can he let the shot go? Mulish gloves it down. Keeps the clock running out there. Kuchera is in there trying to get something going for the Finns, but they clear it out of the zone. Game number one on day number one is going to the Finns. An excellent performance. An excellent team performance for three periods. They started well.